In the Reagan collision and the deadly plane crash last week in Philadelphia, federal investigators are hoping the plane's black boxes will provide answers to many of the outstanding questions that remain. While no substitute for the lives lost, these devices offer families the chance for clarity. And over the years, they've given authorities insights into how to make flying safer. So how exactly do these critical tools work and what's the history behind them? Here's black boxes simply explained. In times of aviation crisis, authorities prioritize saving lives and recovering what's known as a black box. Can you, in simple terms, explain what a black box is? To start off, it, I should note that they're not black. Um, they're actually orange. It helps them actually identify them in the wreckage. They're called black boxes because the original design was designed not to let light in. And there are essentially two black boxes. One is the digital flight data recorder. And the second is the cockpit voice recorder. And they provide very important information about what exactly the airplane was doing on the flight and also what the pilots were talking about and what was happening in the cockpit. Justin Green is an aviation attorney and former commercial and military pilot. They're crash resistant. They can go into the water um, and stay in the water uh, down to 20,000 feet. They also have a beacon on them, and the beacon sends out a, a locator single for up to 30 days. Quick history lesson. At least two people have been credited with the creation of black boxes, including French aviation engineer Francois Houssineau, who developed techniques to record a plane's speed and altitude and Australian scientist David Warren, credited for the cockpit voice recorder. Australia was the first country to mandate airlines put black boxes on their planes following a deadly crash in 1960, the U.S. following suit in 1967. Today, black boxes are not in every plane or helicopter, though the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, does require the devices on commercial planes. According to the National Transportation and Safety Board, or NTSB, black boxes are typically installed in a plane's tail, usually considered the most crash survivable part of the aircraft. Black boxes have been key to uh, NTSB investigations for several decades. Dr. Alan Deal is a former NTSB investigator and investigated a Potomac River plane crash in 1982. Using that black box, we were able to establish the co-pilot, or the first officer who was flying, was trying to convince the captain that something was wrong. So these recorders are absolutely critical to solving the mystery. NTSB recommendations often come following aviation tragedy, and the absence of black boxes often sustains the mystery. Still no emergency transmitter signal, no sign of wreckage. After the disappearance of the Malaysia jet a decade ago, they expanded the amount of time that has to be recorded on the, uh, the flight data recorder from two hours to 25 hours. Still, some say the devices could use important updates. Has there been any discussion about updating the information black boxes collect? After the Malaysia 370 disappearance, there was a big question of why don't they uh, live stream the data? What about video? And so the question is, is, is there a need for it? and balancing the, the legitimate privacy interests of pilots. It'll be something that we debate and continue to debate going forward. And that's Black Boxes Simply Explained. And of course, we always want to hear from you. Let us know what you want Simply Explained by connecting with me on your favorite social media platform at Simply Zinkley. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.